G'day viewers, we're going to run the tutorial that comes with the update 3 to Rail Route. I'm just going to run through it because I thought people might find it interesting who are thinking about getting the game just to see how stuff works. Alright then, so we are just doing what it says. So it wants us to pan the screen, left mouse button, it wants to zoom in and out, mouse wheel or in my case my trackball wheel. And now it wants us to do waiting. Hey! Okay, we're going to click this switch with the left mouse button. It changes the switch. Or points, if you call them that. And we're going to highlight a signal. And that has set a route with the green stuff trains can go through. Of course, there's a switch set against them at the other end, but they didn't cover that in the tutorial. We're going to right-click it to clear it. We're going to make a route from Device Platform 2 to Bumby 1. Let's say Bumby. I'm going to call it Bumby forever now. Open the signal. I'm sure they mean set the signal to proceed, or perhaps reverse the signal, since signals are normally at stop. But open will do. Flip the signal to Halt. Aldo. That should also be stop or danger. So the uh, language they're using is perhaps right for wherever they're from. We want to go from Bumby 2 to Docks 1. Okay, so we're routing through the switch, setting the signal. Off we go. No train, though. They're just teaching us the basics. That's okay. All right, let's clear the signal. That's better terminology. Except clearing it, to my mind, actually means setting it to go. We'll proceed. There you go. Coffee time. Ah, train coming. Finally a train. Whee. Alright, we click on the station name and it wants to go into platform two by the contract, so that's what we do. And it's gonna want us to set up a route. Apparently he takes a nap while he's waiting for the trains to arrive. I don't. I make the game go faster. I pressed a two to make it run five times. All right, we're going to set up a route and we're going to set this signal to proceed by left clicking on it. So I left clicked on the switch and then I left clicked on the signal. And it's gone back to normal time. So let's go back to five times faster. You can even go 15 times faster. So press three, you go 15 times. Whee! This is fine with one train, but I wouldn't do it when you've got a lot. It gets a little bit uh, hectic. Probably fry your brain. All right, now it's going to want me to hit the reverse button down there, which I'm not going to do. I'm going to right click on the train and I'm going to set my route like it wants me to back to device one and let it go. And then we're going to go five times. It does simulate the uh, concept of railways, hurry up and wait, which is pretty much most of the railways. It's gone back to normal time, so I'll put it back to five times with the two key. He says, let's hope it's not late. Oh. They just give me a small fine. Well, yes, they do. It's all about points in this game. So if you send it late, or it arrives late, or it arrives in the wrong platform, you lose points. If you uh, get it all right, gain points. So when this one gets into this platform, you can see the contract here is from device to Bumby to device. I'm just going to call it device. It's going to be easier. Device to Bumby to device. You'll see in a moment, just up here, we'll get some points. Could be money, I suppose, but they don't really say that. Any second now. Wait for it. Wait for it. Sigh. going to leave soon. Oh, I get it. Yeah, when it leaves, we get the points. So you can see there's a countdown timer here. In the uh, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Off we go. And 4,000 points. Yay. 
Okay, so we need to find out what the next incoming train is. So let's have a look at Digivice. But we can have a look down here. So there's our next train. So that's the one that's going out. This is the next one coming in. And it wants to go from device two. And it wants to go to Bumby. And then it wants to come back to device one. So it's basically the same as the last one. So let's just set that route up in advance because we have no other trains. You can see what else is coming down here. Now you can only see one station at a time, which is a bit, uh, hmm, yeah. I wish you could see the whole map. Maybe you can. I haven't looked at this game for a little while. So let's go back into five times because when, when's this train due? This train's due at 8.14, so we're not going to sit here for this amount of time. We're going to run a bit faster. We might even run a bit faster than that. And at 8.13, I'll slow it down again. Okay, so we know I've got a train coming in. I'm going to click on the two. And we've already set the route up, so I'm going to set the signal because I've got no other conflicting traffic right now. So we can just freely let them fly. Normally you'd have to have a look and see what else is coming in this station and this station. And once you grow the map, all the other stations, because you try to avoid conflicting traffic. It's also really important as you get more advanced in this game that you try and avoid conflicting contracts because you'll end up building more track just to cope with them. <sighs> They've changed some of the uh, track things on this game too. They've uh, made it a little more logical. So when you're building track, you get a certain number of bits of track to play with or a certain amount of money. Off we go. Chug, 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 chug. You have to make your own sound effects because you can turn on some, um, some... Well, let's just call it interesting music. I was going to use it in a totally different word, but let's just leave that be. That's fine. We're still running on five times speed. The uh, red bit means that a train is occupying that section. You can shorten sections by chucking more signals in there should you wish to. I don't know if the tutorial will cover that. Now, this one you may remember is going to want to go back the other way, and it's going to want to go back into Bumby. So if you click on the train, you'll see where it wants to go. So it's going to come from Bumby. I just reversed it with a right click on the train. I've set the route to go into that platform at once. See, it wants to go into device one. So it's running now from Bumby to device one. Chug, 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 chug. All right, so I'm in a silly mood today. Live with it. It's just part of life, really. One of my workmates was watching one of my videos the other day and did in fact comment that I'm an idiot. And I was like, yeah, they just figured that out. Really? All right. Let's go back to device station because we have another train coming. We've got a freight. You can tell it's a freight because it starts with F. F for freight. And it's going to come in where we can click on it. And it's going to come in on two and it wants to go to docks one. That's slightly problematic, but we can set this route. So right now we could send it by a Bumby and then send it out again. You could certainly do that. It would have to run backwards for part of its route. So I'm pretty certain the tutorial's going to want me to build some track. Because you would in the game. Let's go back to five speed. Press to two. Do, 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 do. Now, it might seem like it's a bit of a slow game when you're running at this stage. And early in the maps, it is. But once you get going with a few stations, it gets a little bit hectic. So we want to come into two because that's what he wants. You can change these things. Now, we can't send him out yet because he wants to go from here, device, to here, docks. You thought I was going to call it something else, didn't you? So we're going to build some track. Click, click, click. 
All right, so we've now put some switches and some track in. We're going to get rid of construction and we're going to set our switches because running through switches is bad. And then we're going to let him go by clearing the signal. Our tutorial guy's boogered off now. Let's go back up to five speed. Tugger, 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 tugger. See, freight trains tug, commuter trains chug. Because there's only one. There's one engine. The little thing with the lines, that's the engine. That means it's going forwards. They will go backwards, but it's a little abnormal. At some point, we'd probably want to put some signals in here to stop trains crashing into each other so we can have multiple trains roving around the map. But we won't bother to do that now because the tutorial doesn't want us to. So what's our next train? Our next train is this fella, which is coming from device two, this platform, and it's going to Bumby two. So let's set up the route for that because there's nothing else coming. Let's just check Bumby. No, nothing coming because that's going to be that train. All right, back to device. And we've set our route through. We can, I mean, there's no trains coming, so we can actually just dispatch this out now. And let's go up to five speed. That's too slow. Let's go to three speed, which is 15 times. Two goes five times. Three goes 15 times. I assume four goes 25 times, but I have never actually used it. All right, let's slow it back down to five times so our heads don't explode. Okay, got a train coming in. It wants to come in on two, so we will accept it. At this stage in the game, you can't automate any of this stuff, but later in the game, you can, you gradually gain things through cash and through tokens so green tokens let you do little things red tokens let you do really big things and you can do things like automating the trains arrival into a platform so you don't have to accept them they just appear there that's a double-edged sword though because once they appear there you have to be ready to deal with it that's okay here we go back to five times maybe back to 15 times let's be game let's try 25 times 25 times too fast, too fast, my head's going to explode. All right, we're getting there. Let's go back to five times because we have to change these points and we have to reverse this little fella. So we're going to right click on him after he stops and then let him go because we know there's nothing else coming. Now we have got a freight coming soon, but this train, which is 1031, we know it gets there first. So we can send him there first. So you start getting used to what's happening as through time so if that freight was arriving before this one you could still do still let him go because your freight's going to arrive into this platform and he's going to arrive into that platform so there's no conflict do, 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 do. okay trundling along All right, he's arrived into device. We don't have to worry about him anymore. So let's set up for this freight that we know is about to come. So Railways is all about anticipating what's about to happen. So we can go back up to two speed. We just got our points for that fella. Now, there's nothing else coming. So we can have a quick look. There's nothing at Bumby. There's nothing at Docks. There's nothing at all at Docks. And there's nothing coming into device except this next train, which is the freight, which is going to come into two. So there's no reason why we can't just set that route now. Now we're just waiting for the train. Here he comes. Let's drop him into two, like he wants. If you drop him into the wrong platform, or if you arrive in the wrong platform, they um, cost you points. I think you lose 100 points every time you get something like that wrong. Not a big deal. And sometimes it can be the uh, lesser of two evils is you might have a train that needs to come in on the same platform at the same time. So you just swap one of them onto the other platform. Now, later in the game, when you've built up a bit of this and a bit of this, you can um, change your contracts so that they come into a different platform if you find that you've got a regular conflict. But you can't do that this early because you've got to buy your way into stuff in this game, which is kind of cool. All right. So what's in next is we've got another commuter train. And you can tell the difference of commuter trains. So this freight train's only got one loco. It's on the front. 
And the next one coming in is a commuter train. It's going to come into device two. So let's set back up. We'll just make click over here. There's so that's only that's the same train. So 1041. We go back to device. That's 1041. So it's the same train. Let's speed stuff up. We're ready to go. Let's whack him on there. Now, if you make a mistake, you can turn the route off, but only only up until the point the train's about to enter it. If the train's entered it, you're stuffed. It'll go wherever the route is because it's locked by the signal. So if I try and change these points, for example, I can't. I have to drop this signal back and then I can change them. And it will quite happily let you dispatch trains into each other for a head-on. Well, that's not good. Wouldn't be the first time I have found myself hastily building track to pass two trains. Our commuter train should be coming into device about now. So let's just drop him into two, which is what he wants. We're still running at five speed. So according to the tutorial, we're going to be dispatching routinely until 9.01. That might be when the tutorial ends, I guess. We shall see. That's six minutes away, but it won't be six minutes because we're running five times speed. We're running what's called a fast clock. All right, so our next train is this one, same one, coming back. And then we've got another freight to deal with. So you're probably starting to see that patterns are establishing. And you start getting used to the patterns. Now you can really get yourself into a tangled up mess, but if you... Um, Try and keep an eye on things with your contracts to make sure that you've always got a free path before you accept something, then you'll be okay. If you haven't got a free path and you accept something, you'd better build some track if you can. So we've got that route set, so let him set him up to go and right click him to reverse him. Or her, it, them, they, whatever. Whatever they might be. Off he goes. Next one to deal with will be another freight. Remember what I said about patterns. Well, actually, we may not get this freight because it says dispatch routinely until 9.01 and he comes in at 9.06, so we shall see. Do, do, do. Open the contracts panel. Click the button. Okay. It's teaching me some more stuff. So we have to accept a new contract. So it'll come into any platform at device, go to any platform at Bumby and any platform at device. Okay, let's accept the new contract. And we've got a train coming in. So we're going to drop him into device one. Why didn't it let me? I'm going to drop him into one. Run the trial train to its destination, accept or decline the contract conditions. I thought I had. I want to put him on one. Oh, no, actually, I don't. I want to put him on two, dummy. <laughs> I've got a train going into one. What a wanker. All right, so let's set our switches now, and let's pan over here, and we're ready to go into Bumby 2. So let's roll. He's another commuter train, you can tell, because he's a com, and he's got a loco on each end. Let's go back into five times speed, because I was coping with that so well. So he's ready to go to go into Bumby. Now you could, if you really wanted to, actually make some track if you really wanted to. So we're going to have another freight coming in here soon. So we really want this guy to piss off so it clears the platform for the freight because guess where the freight wants to go? The freight wants to go there. That's okay. He's going to clear out of the way in time, but we're going to be setting up our first conflict here. Remember, you should only accept the contracts you like the look of. And I've got a train coming in, so let's drop him in here. That's our freight train. Now, we can't let him go yet because he'll end up in Bumby and crash into the back of our commuter train. So he's ready to go. He's delayed now. He's getting angry. We can set that switch and we can let him go. Clicked on the signal. Now, remember this guy, he wants to go back the other way, but we can't let him go yet because right now we haven't got a path for him. We have to wait for the freight to get out of the way. So to get around this for the future, 
before you accept the contract. So this one's a bit tight. It's okay, but it's a bit tight because that freight train's a little bit delayed, so I lost some points. It might have been better before accepting that contract to build another track. All right, let's set these up and go. I should have set this one earlier. Remember I said about anticipating stuff? There we go. So we didn't get as much money for our freight because he was a bit late. And here goes our little commuter heading happily into platform one. I can send him into any platform, but I don't have anything coming in for a little while. And the next one's coming in on platform two anyway. So we're all set for him to come in. We've run the trial train. So let's set back for this. So these are all right, because we're going to have a train coming in on platform two in a moment. There it is. Click him in and let him go. Now this guy, click on him. That's the end of his run. If there's more, you'll see more on the end. Sometimes they reverse again. So yeah, look, we'll take this contract because it's exciting. It's a bit tight, but it's exciting. Okay, we've gone back to normal time. Jump onto five time again. So I think you, you're uh, getting the gist of what's going on here. Don't actually know how long this tutorial goes for, to be honest. Yeah, we got some, got a score up there. Awesome. Okay, open the system upgrades panel. We're going to, oh, yep, we're just going to do it with told. And we're going to open automation because we're doing what we're told. It's a pity they're things covering up the instructions, though, isn't it? That's a bit boring. But anyway, we're going to auto-accept trains, apparently. Ooh, we're spending some of our green points. Cool bananas. Then we have to turn it on on that station. So we, that should mean that we can close this. And oop, click the upgrade button. Whoops. Okay. So in the station detail component, we can do this. All right, so let's probably close this menu now, I imagine. Imagine that's what it's going to want us to do. Device, and let's just get, no, we can't get rid of this. What are we doing here? We're clicking the button, auto accept trains. Okay, auto accept trains, they're not enabled. Okay, good -o. Now can I close this screen? Gonna. <laughs> Is our train trundling away? Let's drop it onto double speed. So we're going to get trains dropping into device by themselves now. As this fellow races off to Bumby. Yeah, I know it's bubbling. People are going to kill me in the comments, aren't they? Life. The universe. And everything. Thank you, Doug. All right, let's go back to device because we should have another train coming in soon. We have COM 1022, which wants to go from device two to Bumby to device one. Rightio. So this guy's going to want to come back though. So let's set for him because he wants to go into device one. So all set. Now, these dotted lines are what are basically called walls. You can't build track that crosses walls. I think later in the game, maybe you can build tunnels under them, but you can't now. kind of think I've seen someone do that. I wonder how long this tutorial runs for. Hmm. All right, he's in. So shortly we're going to have another train coming in. We've got a freight train, so let's get ready for him or her, it, they, them, whatever. So freight trains don't need to stop, so we can just set him a path because they'll just go. So let's go into 15 times. And we should see that freight in just a moment. It should automatically pop in and just race on through. Off he goes. Happy, happy, happy. So our next thing to come in is another commuter train. I just noticed one of the stations up here is called Pooba Bar. That's funny. Other people's names are so funny in English. 
Oh, I know it's horrible, but there you go. Cool. Like he's just made a new map. Yay. There we go. Freight done. Money maker. Cha-ching. Would you like to try timetable mode? Not right now. But of course I do. But anyway, that's Rail Route, the uh, simple tutorial that it runs with the new version Rail Release 3, I think it was called. And it's version 1.3. So there you go. The game is progressing. It is kind of fun. And I have to say, it gets bloody hectic after a little while. So, um, hmm. I do recommend you give it a crack. Um, if you buy it on Steam, of course, if you don't like it, you can refund it as long as it's less than two hours. So you've got nothing to lose. Give it a go. I enjoy it. It's good fun. Alrighty. See you later. Thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. I always like to get your feedback in the form of likes and comments because they help me understand what you want. Give the channel a subscribe and click on the tinkly things so you don't miss out on any new stuff. And thanks for your ongoing support. And please, be safe out there.